Well, since Charlie come out here with his pickup, he was uh, just wanting me to take a little better look at it. Since uh, he's out here at the ranch, I've actually got some tools that I can use. Well, one tool in particular, and uh, any of you guys that work on stuff, if you don't have a vacuum gauge, you ought to get one. It's one of the best tools you will ever buy. You can, you can time it with this, and you can check compression, you can check for head gasket leaks, you can tune a carburetor. Excellent tools but uh, tells you a lot about what your motor's doing, what kind of vacuum you got. Basically what you want is you want it to be running between about uh, 16, well usually I call it about anywhere between 15 and uh, 21 inches of vacuum and it's got to be steady and then when you hit the throttle the idea is it'll drop down to zero because you have a sudden loss of vacuum as you open your throttle, throttle plates and then it should uh, it should come back up to, uh, to the um, 16, 15, 16 to 21 range. And once again, I don't know if uh, you guys can see it, but the sun is shining all kinds of brilliant, and it's snowing. What the hell? <laughs> well, anyways, we get to work here. Let Charlie tighten up that connection and uh, Give her a shot. Well, first thing you got to do to hook up a vacuum gauge is you find an appropriate vacuum line. Now, ideally, you want a vacuum line that's as close to the bottom of the carburetor as possible because you'll get a more accurate reading right below your throttle blades, even though it'll have a little bit of turbulence right there. But so we got a hose here, and that one goes underneath there. I'm not going to pull off the air cleaner and show you, but. Uh, but this one goes pretty close to the bottom of the carburetor, so we're just going to use this. And then you just simple as plugging this thing in. Then we'll fire the pickup up as soon as Matt gets here. We'll fire the pickup up and see what that vacuum gauge does. Well, hell, just fire it up now. So here we go. And you can see that vacuum gauge pulled right down to about 18 pounds, or 18 inches, excuse me, which is actually really good. And it's rising a little bit. Yeah, we're up to 19. There's a chart that shows, you know, what each of the different fluctuations means. So the first thing we're going to do is Charlie's going to get in it, and he's going to bring the throttle up really slow. And what should do, what should happen is this vacuum gauge should just kind of drop ever so slightly and maintain a fairly steady reading. Or, you know what, I had that backwards, it's supposed to rise because you increase vacuum and... So you see it's holding steady there. What I was thinking of is if, if the vacuum gauge actually drops, if the vacuum gauge actually drops as you raise your throttle, you've got restricted exhaust, which tells you a plug catalytic converter, too small of exhaust pipes, so on and so forth. But since this one just raised up a little bit as you increase the throttle and then uh, return to a normal reading, that, that tells me that everything's clear on the exhaust side and that it's pulling good vacuum through the cylinder. So now you get in it and just just pop it. Just drop. Yep, romp, romp on it. What should happen is it should drop down to zero and then come back up. Or fairly close to zero. Do it again. Okay. Are you stepping it all the way to the floor? Okay, hang on. Yep, do it again. Yep, and you see that's the reading we're looking for. That tells you that everything's sealing good. And like I said, you know, once those butterflies open, it uh, induces a, a loss of vacuum momentarily. What? It induces a loss of vacuum momentarily, and then as soon as you let off the throttle blades, the motor's still up, so it's going to have just a little bit more vacuum than it would at an idle. As it is right now, this motor, we're looking like we're pretty well tuned. So, 
Yep. That's very, very good. And it's got a good vacuum reading. Looks like we probably got the timing pretty spot on by ear. And the uh, carburetor must be set pretty close too. So, we're looking good. Looks like we got a runner here. <laughs> Burns a little oil, but that just keeps the top end lubed up. We like it. 